Good morning, everyone. I'm Tiffany Scott, and welcome to the New Life News Break. We're so excited that you decided to join us for morning worship. Here's what's happening around New Life. Pastor Ellison thanks each and every one of you for participating in the fast this past week. We will continue to fast this week beginning Monday, April the 6th through Friday, April the 10th. The prayer targets during this fast are healing for individuals and the land, against fear in the land, the boldness of the church so that we are able to stand and that the plague will stop and turn the wrath away. This will be an absolute fast from midnight until either 12 noon, 3 p.m., 5 p.m., or 7 p.m. Please do not drink water unless you have to. If you have to take medication before noon, please don't fast, just pray. The fast is based on Joel 2. This is a sanctified fast. On Monday, the Mother Church and New Life Birmingham will fast. On Tuesday, Annex is 1 and 2. Wednesday, Annex is 3 and 4. Thursday, Annex is 5 and 6. And on Friday, all Annexes will fast together. Continue to stay connected as we stream live from Annex 2 every Sunday at 9.30 as well as Bible study on Tuesday nights at 7 p.m. Remember, we have set up four easy ways to continue to pay your tithe and offerings by visiting our website, nlcogit.org give. You also could download the Cash App and simply type in the money sign, New Life Montgomery. You have an option to mail it into the office or visit the church app. If you have not downloaded the app, search newlife.church in your app store and download the app today. Please continue interceding for the entire nation as well as Deacon Robert Boswell and family who will be having graveside services for their father, Charlie L. Boswell, on Thursday, April the 9th at 11 a.m. at Greenwood Serenity Memorial Gardens. Due to the COVID-19 limitations, there will be immediate family only. New Life, we thank you so much for tuning in. And now here's a scripture to reflect on this week from Psalm 91 verse two. This I declare about the Lord. He alone is my refuge, my place of safety. He is my God and I trust in him. And now let's get back to our service. 